Hey everyone, July is a wrap. So I wanted to share with you all the trade results for the month of July. Before I jump into my trades, uh, Dr. Chad runs our day trading live stream, uh, trading three different strategies. The Mighty 90, uh, he took 10 of those trades, 70% win rate plus 484. Uh, the Volume Runner had 17 trades, eight winners, nine losers for plus 1563. And the Continuation Runners, nine trades, five winners for 966. So total, 36 trades, 20 winners, 16 losers, plus uh, 3,013 on the month. On my trades, uh, this is everything, uh, plus 18,297 uh, overall, a 61% win rate on 139 trades. You can see the average return and profit factor, but let's break these down by the different strategies, starting with zero DTE, and then we'll dive into the different zero DTE strategies as well. Let me get these all clicked. The list keeps on growing. Let me refresh. All right, so for all zero DTE strategies, uh, booked a little over 27,000. Uh, so let's break these down by the different zero DTE strategies. Starting with, okay, so no afternoon. Actually, um, I think maybe I classified. No, yeah, I didn't. Okay, so uh, AM ratio. All right, so I had one discretionary trade that I booked 2,800 on. Uh, and then all, I mean, all the, all the AM trades were winners, which is awesome. Um, this one still shows us open because the long options still need to settle overnight, but it is closed. So it might be a little bit less than 2395, whatever I paid for the longs. Uh, but some nice winners, uh, that the AM ratio trade, uh, continues to do really, really well. Uh, let's see zero day ducks had a few of those. Uh, two winners, one loser for a total profit in zero day ducks of 1935. I uh, did take a couple of FOMC related trades. Uh, one was a uh, FOMC iron condor booked a little over 1100. Took a, uh, a long strangle that I booked 1725 on. Jumped in with another one. Actually closed two of my three contracts uh, for 30% profit, but the last one came in and expired at max loss, so netted out minus 425 on that one. But net net plus 2,465 on the FOMC trades. And let's see, I don't think I had, uh, didn't classify as any on a morning re-entry. All right, so power hour. So in my... July way of trading, I had tranche one, tranche two, and then I just power hour. I started classifying them in, in tranches uh, about halfway through the month. So let me refresh that. Yeah, so plus 1725. So scraped out a green month in, uh, in the traditional way I've been trading power hour. You can see we had a five-day losing streak right here uh, that we had to battle through. Um, which, which had not happened in the back test. So even with that five day losing streak, able to scratch out a green profit on those power hour strategies. Now I did add a couple different things. So I added a power hour ratio trade. I added tranche three, which I just started today. So I only traded it one day. Um, and so with those, I added another 5,450. Uh, so just the tranche three that I did today uh, booked a little over 3,700. Uh, the ratio trade here, that was pretty much a scratch, plus 60, and then another ratio plus 1,600. So all in all, for power hour, if I put it all together, booked um, 7,175. So not too shabby for the most difficult power hour that we've seen uh, since I've been trading it. So happy to, happy to be done with July, and hopefully August is much better and back on track with what we've seen in previous months. 
A uh, couple other zero DTE strategies. Uh, the quiet lunch for Monday. I just started this. I'll be trading this in August. Took one today though, plus 3,600. Uh, let's see, zero DTE morning. Yeah, this was a discretionary one. Booked 360 on that one. And then uh, no re-entries. Reverse iron condors. So I've got my standard one and then a discretionary one. Let me refresh this. Uh, down month for reverse iron condors, minus 6,150. You can see I had two discretionary, which about minus 800 between those two. Uh, the others were our standard ones. Took a couple of couple of big losses here that put us in the red for the month on our buddy Rick, but we'll still continue to trade that as it does have a nice positive expectancy. So that's it for zero DTE. Uh, did not uh, did not close any um, dynamic butterflies on the dynamic calendar front. Ended up red for the month on calendars, really due to one major trade, one major loss. Uh, let me refresh here, make sure this is up to date. All right, so yeah, down a little over 7,000 for calendars. And like I said, primarily due to one big trade, and it was this one, minus 12,000 on that trade. And that was really a mistake. It, it could have been, it should have been closed out for more like a $6,000 loss, which would have really helped. Um, and so that was a that was the biggest factor. You can see 80% win rate on 35 trades. So a lot of the other trades were really nice. A lot of nice BNB winners, a TGIF winner, a 2-3, a 3-5, some 6-7s. Uh, so a decent month overall from as far as a win rate, but that was a killer. So, But you can't excuse it. We show everything. So it is what it is. Uh, and and uh, F, uh, July today is, all, is already off to a good start with our open position. So look forward to a, a big, um, big August for calendars. The other, the other part of the calendars is we saw some major, major implied volatility contraction, which did not work well for these trade for you know some of these trades, and and just extended moves out of the range, which we don't see very often. So, um, you know, you're going to have those months. It's part of trading. That's uh, typical that I'll ha typically have one or two, um, you know, red months with calendars, and about nine or ten out of twelve months will be really nice and positive. So this was uh, the red one. Next strategy setup is Iron Ducks. And just had a few winners on the Ducks. Four small winners, one for 130, 138, 145, and 170. Just closed out those for Beak Profit with the, uh, with the bullish tint that we saw in the market and we've got a couple open and we'll look to reload on some more um, as, as we, as the opportunities come along. NTT was also a red strategy for the month. Our navigation trend trading um, really a pretty terrible month. I mean, just as far as closed trades, only one winner. The others were losers. We've already booked some profits on some of these that are still open. Uh, in fact, this one, uh, plus 2,400 on soybeans that's, that's still open, but, uh, overall a pretty, pretty gnarly month on NTT, uh, but look for that to bounce back here, uh, which is pretty normal after a bad one, you'll, you'll start to catch some trends and, and catch some winners. So that's just part of trend trading. And then lastly, option selling and hedgehogs. So uh, plus, actually, on this one, I need to um, show only wins and losses because we do a lot of adjustments and rolls, and so it doesn't really give a, a good picture. So pretty much uh, just a small green month for the closed positions. Had a $300 short strangle winner in the notes, a $370 winner on a VIX contraction trade, a uh, little scratch loss on a hedgehog and IWM, a little scratch win. On ES, a uh, $230 winner on a reverse hedgehog in gold. A uh, couple little scratch losers on hedgehogs in oil, SPY, and IWM. 
a couple little winners in ES and QQQ for hedgehogs. Uh, took an $892 loss on a short strangle in MES and then $125 winner on a short strangle in soybeans. So that is it, my friends. Those are all the trades for the month of July. If you're interested in learning and following along with these strategies, you can just go to navigationtrading.com, click on the pricing button at the top. Uh, we've got a free membership. So if you're just starting out, we've got co five core strategy courses for beginners uh, to get up to speed. And then, uh, and then if you want access to everything, we have our pro membership. So that gives you access to all the strategies, all the alerts, all the indicators, all the live streams, everything that we do. Or if you just want to start with one strategy at a time, we have a membership just for calendars, one for just for butterflies, one just for navigation trend trading, one just for day trading, which does include the zero DTE. Uh, we have one just for iron ducks and one just for the option selling, which includes the hedgehogs, short strangles, VIX trades, all that good stuff. So navigationtrading.com slash pricing, or just go to any anywhere on navigation trading, click on the pricing button at the top. And we look forward to seeing you on the inside and look forward to a good month of trading in August. Cheers.